Welcome back to another video. I'm Cole Grave, and this one is on the healer class. The healer class is going to be coming to the live servers pretty soon and you're going to be getting a whole new legendary armor set that comes along with it. So in this video I'm going to be going over all of the skills as well as the armor set. As you can see it is a starter class. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be already unlocked. Like you'll see the rogue, mage and warrior. All you have to do is just equip it and I'm assuming that is the same way that the healer is going to be. It's just going to be ready to go because it is a starter class. I did do a preview video of this class but things have changed since then and also the animations weren't ready plus I wasn't even ranked 10 when I showed it. Let's go over the ranks. So at rank 1, 2 and 3 you will be unlocking the skills. At rank 4 you unlock the pure heart passive ability. Rank 5 is the ultimate. At rank 6 you're going to be increasing your heal power by 3%. Rank 7, you're going to have a lower cooldown by 3 seconds. Rank 8 is going to be increasing the damage bonus per stack of kinship. And rank 9, the target is going to be receiving 25% more health from healing spells and items. Rank 10, you've got the cross skill Presence of Mind. Between rank 15 and 50, you will be unlocking the entire armor set of the, the legendary armor set. Rank 100, you're going to be getting the Legendary Healer title. Now the skills are basically the same from the last video I did show on this class. However, I will be running over them anyways. And this is what the basic armor set looks like. However, once you hit level 50, this is the armor set you will be unlocking. That is one awesome looking set. Very cool weapon this is the full thing right here and it is a legendary set let's run over the skills really fast so you have the auto cast now every fourth cast is going to be dealing bonus damage and restores mana your healing wave this is going to be concentrating your powers into a large heal for up to five allies now this is actually a it's an aoe but you'll be seeing this is where it is right there. So as long as you're within that field, then you will be healed. Anybody in that field. That is a really awesome idea. Burst of Morale. This launches a blast of energy at the enemy to greatly boost the attack of five nearby allies, which is another support skill. It's very helpful. Then you have Renew. And as you can see, the radius of Renew is huge. Look at how wide that radius is. That is really big. When you use this ability, it applies Renew to five nearby allies. And each time the Renew heals you or an ally, you gain a stack of kinship. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, you're going to be gaining up to eight kinship. If you do it for you and a partner, you're going to be gaining up to 16. Of course, then you can do the math. If you have eight kinship per every teammate, you're gaining quite a bit of kinship. You can also then use this to unleash the power of the kinship, which is going to be a massive blast. Now, the more stacks of kinship you have, the more damage you're going to do. The ultimate is Inspiring Light. This gives you a 50% cooldown speed as well as increases the health restored from spells and items by 25%. Then you have the cross skill which is Presence of Mind. This increases the healing power of all spells and items by 35%. Alright, let's check out the abilities. So the first one is Healing Wave. There we go, you see our health got restored and next one is burst of morale and this is also an attack and then you have renew now you're gonna see a kinship appear right down here now it's gonna stack up to eight because I'm by myself and then we're gonna be using an ability unleash right there it causes extra damage you can use it before then if you want but you're gonna to want to wait until it's at full stack in order to really unleash the power Next is the ultimate. Now, in order to use this one, I am going to use this one first just so that it's on its cooldown and then you can use your ultimate and you're going to notice, look how that, bam, it's right back, ready to be used again. And this is handy because this is pretty much the only other attack you have besides the this one here, which is Unleash. 
so you do have two attack ones this one here doesn't do any damage as far as i know and this one here also doesn't do any damage but let's see what that looks like so this is the cross skill let's check it out so that's the cross skill you can see the different animations here what i can do is show you the animations from the front you've got this one this one and unleash oh you can't do unleash because i don't have a target and unleash the healer class is perfect if you're running a tough dungeon with friends now when you're going by yourself this is similar to the paladin where it doesn't have a lot of dps so if you're wanting something that's going to clear dungeons quickly this is not the class for you but if you are the type of person where you want to aid your teammates this is the perfect class but that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one